Let's get on with figuring out why this car doesn't run. So as you can hear, the engine is very obviously not seized. So the next step is to check for diagnostic trouble codes, do a compression test if necessary. P0306, P0301, P0024. Camshaft is timing is over advanced back too. Okay. The timing is off, which is what I suspected when I was cranking this engine over when I saw the car initially. It sounded like the timing was off. Cylinder three misfire. Camshaft position. Correlation. Yeah. Sensor A. Okay. So that's off as well. Cylinder two misfire. Cylinder four misfire random misfire so the short version of what this scan tool is telling us is that the timing is off we have misfires on every single cylinder okay that wasn't a whole lot but you could hear the skip This spark plug is completely destroyed. So it's pretty clear that the piston has made contact with the valve and has messed up everything in there. There's no need to do the compression test anymore. We know the problem. Now we just need to figure out how to move forward. If I do decide to fix this engine, what we're looking at is a new timing chain set, new cylinder head. In the next episode, you're gonna see me tear down this engine and we'll see what's going on inside the engine. I forgot how much of a pain in the ass these cars are to work on. It's been a couple years since I last worked on one of these GM36s. We got the valve covers off, the front engine cover off. As you can see, engine's not looking too good. One of these things, the roller followers or whatever it's called, the uh, one of the rollers disintegrated. That was the same cylinder where the spark plug came out all messed up. That makes sense. Cylinder head is trash. And of course, this is the result of the timing skipping. As you can see, that's too loose. I can literally move that off the guide. That's This is way too loose. Same thing over here. That's loose. This one in here. This chain inside this guide. Way too loose. Tensioner fully extended. Tensioner's not extended so that tensioner probably failed the reason the timing chains fail on these alloy techs the crankcase vent to the place where there's a hole in the valve cover the hole is really tiny it gets clogged up that's the one on this passenger side cylinder head and as you can see the passenger side cylinder head is significantly darker than the driver's side which is very common again i've looked through multiple of these engines before and this is always how it is here's the front engine cover the front main seal was completely gone by the way it was leaking really bad as you can see it's caked full of coal this is the driver's side valve cover caked full of coal passenger side valve cover that's the one where the pcv gets plugged i'll show y'all what i mean so as you can see those are the tiny holes for the pcv that's the tiny pcv hole right there that's all it gets I've heard multiple people say different things. Some people say remove it completely or vent it to the atmosphere. Some people say drill out that hole so it's bigger. Do whatever you will. Back to this cylinder head though. Some of these cam lobes aren't looking too good. Some of them are starting to get wiped a little bit. Most of them look okay. It's just this one. Yeah, driver's side cylinder head is looking okay for now. We'll know for sure when you take both cylinder heads off.
it's a couple days later time for an update we got the subframe out that took me all day we had to undo the brake lines which i didn't plan on doing everything on this car is just hard to work on the oil pan is just hard to remove and on top of that this car is all-wheel drive so the front differential is in the way as well as you can see now there's brake fluid and power steering fluid dripping everywhere because we had to undo the steering rack as well this is a rough one boys we had to unplug all those lines, wires connected to the subframe by those little push clips. I'm just using a piece of wood to jack up the engine. Once we get those axles removed, then we can unbolt the oil pan and front differential as one unit. As you can see, valves made a couple love taps with the pistons. This one right here, pretty bad. As far as the cylinder walls go, there were some pretty bad nicks in the cylinder wall. My plan was actually to replace this engine. I was looking at a parts car. I was going to go look at the parts car and get a whole bunch of other parts I needed besides the engine and transmission. That one was low miles. All the other engines I saw online all had just about the same or, more, or even more miles. You know, they were asking $1,800, $2,000. Minimum was $1,500. I was looking at a parts car for about the same price. Low miles had a bunch of good parts I needed, but it didn't work out. I found out I needed to move again. So... Um, that's not going to happen. I don't have the time or the space to deal with another vehicle. I had two choices. I could either scrap this car or fix it in the next couple of days. I decided to try and fix this engine. There's a good little nick right there. But, uh... I hope it'll be fine. I'll try. As I said before, I'm trying to make this into my daily driver. Gonna put at least a thousand miles on it. Make sure it's all good to go. I don't really have a choice at this point. I gotta fix this engine. I've already, I'm already committed. So here's what happened. Here's the other side. Cylinder head that came off. The the other valves that hit those pistons with the, with just the small, the minor hits. They don't look too bad. They're, they're, they're not bent at all. It's just this one that's all messed up. Uh, that one's just completely gone um, yeah that's completely destroyed so yeah um, went to the junkyard yesterday I got this cylinder head it's in perfect condition basically no issues whatsoever I got this one off a 2009 Chevy Traverse same engine as we have here so this one should work well other side looks good as well. It's also a pretty significant amount of soot built up in this, in the cylinders, combustion chamber and all that. So yeah, pretty sure that has to do with all the direct injection. So we're gonna try and get this thing all cleaned up and put back together pretty soon. 